All right, in this lesson here, what we're going to do is just take a, a quick look at basic volumes. We're going to show you how you can set up a volume that will tell you where a player is. In other words, when you actually enter into that volume, you'll know where you're at or another player. And uh, also, we'll show you how we can take these volumes and overlap them and give priority to one over the other. Okay, okay. so with that, Logan, let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, so the first part of this test map, I have two special brushes non-colliding just so we can have a visible area. There are just 256 cubes. And I have my builder brush nearby as well. So we're going to be using this builder brush as like the base of defining the area or where we're going to create the volume. So I'll simply move that builder brush over the first cube. Then I'll right click on the volumes button and I'll just click a simple volume. If I move the builder brush out of the way now, you notice we have this um, different colored brush. Or, well, it, it draws as a brush, but this is the area of our volume now. As a matter of fact, if we go up to its actor properties and see volume, volume properties, properties right. and at the very bottom we have a new role called volume. Underneath here we have the location name and location priority. Location name is like what they use in a capture the flag map where they say red base, blue base, or uh, or wherever you want to track your teammates to. In our case we're just going to call it like maybe something, I don't know, cube one. And also we have location priority. What this allows uh, you to do is when you have overlapping volumes, you can have one volume's priority be higher so that if your character is in an area that overlaps, meaning theoretically you're in two volumes, the one with the highest priority will be the volume you're in, and only that one volume. So, for example, we could take our builder brush again and move it over that second um, transparent cube and right-click, add another volume. So if we go into this volume's properties, we could say volume, this one's location name would be cube 2, higher priority. And we'll up its priority to 1. So with that now, in some cases you don't have to rebuild. You'll see the effects. In some cases it's possible that you might have to. So I mean, in general, when you're building a level and testing stuff, I often rebuild just before um, loading the game up. So as soon as we spawn into the map now, we should be able to walk in that area. Also, yeah. I've set this map up so that its default game type is capture the flag. And that way, okay, I'm not in any kind of volume, so my location is unknown. I'll walk into the first cube, and now my location is cube 1. If I walk into the second cube, location cube 2, higher priority. If I start by walking into the first one, I'm in cube 1, walk into the overlapping area, and I'm now in cube 2, the one with the higher priority. Okay. So very, very simple volumes, and that's really all we wanted to show you just to kind of get things kicked off. So that's going to wrap up this lesson. Thanks.